Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story is about a Metropolitan Police officer that has been charged with several offences in relation to the death of two people. This story has been going on for five years. A lot of you may not even remember it, but this is about the death of a child actor called Micaiah McDermott, who was 10 years old on the 31st of August, 2016. Today, the police announced that they have charged PC Edward Welsh with several offenses. He has been charged with two counts of death by dangerous driving, causing serious injury by dangerous driving, and a third charge of dangerous driving also. A lot of people were confused when we posted this on our Instagram earlier due to the fact that another man was actually convicted for killing them. Obviously, people don't understand why he's been charged, being as he was the officer involved in the case. To understand this story a bit better, you have to go back to when it happened and the death of Micaiah McDermott and his auntie Roseanne Cooper. Joshua Dobby was the estranged son of a millionaire. He was a drug addict and he'd stolen a car and he was driving at high speed when he ran over and killed 10-year-old Micaiah and Cooper after he lost control of the stolen Ford Focus in August of 2016. The trial heard that he drove four times over the speed limit on a 20 mile an hour road and he went the wrong way down a one way street and was travelling at 50 miles an hour as he mounted the curb. Miss Cooper had been walking down the busy road in Penge, South East London with Micaiah. They had all been walking together when the car ploughed into all of them. The three girls were taken to hospital but survived the crash and Dobby stole the car after finding the keys in the street and was on his way to buy drugs and he's been jailed for 12 years in 2017. Police abandoned the chase after it went over 80 miles an hour and he went through red lights in a 30 mile an hour zone. Eight months after Dobby was jailed, the police watchdog said that they launched an investigation and they said that they believe charges may be brought against the drivers involved on the side of the police. The 32 year old police officer was then charged later on and PC Edward Welsh appeared in court and will stand trial very soon. A second PC who was involved in the chase as well will not face trial in this case. A spokesman said the CPS have said they've authorised the prosecution of PC Edward Welsh, an officer from the Metropolitan Police, on two counts of causing death by dangerous driving and serious injury by dangerous driving also. Makaya had been given leading roles in productions in Southend theatre shows and was weeks away from taking part in a television production series. He starred in the production of The Wizard of Oz spin-off, The Wiz, not long before he died, and the young star had performed at the Broadway in Catford in his short career. After the accident, 20 people helped to actually remove the car from the twins who were crushed underneath it. So these are the two sisters that was involved in the crash too. Dobby pled guilty and was jailed for the 12 years and was also banned from driving for 15 years. So this is definitely a complicated story and due to the fact the trial is going to be ongoing, we're definitely going to do an update on this because it wouldn't be fair to speculate on the reasons as to why he potentially has been charged with this. But they definitely feel that they have several charges and he's done a lot of things wrong in this case. So this is something we're definitely going to have to follow up on. But it's a very serious subject and topic as we're going to see in this next story that comes from Liverpool. In six months, six people have been killed, young men, after being involved in high-speed pursuits with police. On Monday, April the 19th, residents in Stockport were woken after loud bangs when a Fiat Punto smashed into a BMW before hitting a bollard and then two parked cars. The Punto flipped over on its side and the flames were flickering from the bonnet. A witness told the Liverpool Echo at the time that people had rushed out of their homes and managed to get through and push the wreckage back from the car to help the driver out. Sadly, despite the best efforts and CPR, the man died at the scene. It was later named as 24-year-old 
DR Koshnor from Sale in Trafford. His family ran a popular business nearby and he'd recently become a father. Greater Manchester Police confirmed the crash happened when the punto that Mr Koshnor was driving failed to stop for officers. As a result, the police watchdog and the Independent Office of Police Conduct investigated the full circumstances that led to the death. In another of the incidents in the last six months, two men, Paddy Connors and Tommy Sharp, were killed when their car crashed after a police chase on Frederick Road in the Salford area. Another 16-year-old boy called Shay Marlowe died in a VW Golf when it crashed into a wall in Staley Bridge during another chase in the Cheshire area on the 31st of March. Official figures published by the IOPC showed the number of road deaths involving police has fluctuated considerably from forces year to year. It's difficult to compare GMP to others, they said. For example, South Yorkshire, which serves a smaller population than Greater Manchester, had five deaths in 2018 to 2019, but then zero and one last year. The neighbouring forces Merseyside Police had one death in 2018 to 2019, and one in 2019 to 2020. The largest police force, the Met, had seven road deaths in 2018 to 2019. And overall, the number is relatively small, but the number of road deaths in England and Wales is at a 10-year high from 2018 to 2019 at 42. But six deaths in six months involving police chases definitely says there's something going wrong. So the question is being asked if the police need to change the methods they use when being involved in pursuits and whether nowadays with technology, surely they must be able to find other ways to gather evidence to be able to convict drivers of cars that doesn't involve putting people at risk. So as I said, we'll definitely keep you updated with that story on PC Edward Welsh and any conviction and the trial outcome. And rest in peace to Makaya and everybody else that was injured in that incident. I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.